Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Technically Explained. In this lecture, we are going to study the types of oscillators and we are going to discuss the RC phase shift oscillators in great detail. Now, in the previous video, we, stu we studied that, and that an amplifier with positive feedback will act as an oscillator if it satisfies the Barkhausen criteria. That is the magnitude of the loop gain beta a equals 1 and the overall phase shift introduced by the amplifier and feedback network is 0 or 360 degree or integral multiple of 360 degree. We also studied that we do not need to apply any input voltage to oscillator. The oscillator uses thermal noise voltage as input voltage. Now to discuss the types of oscillators, oscillators are divided into two categories. The non sinusoidal oscillator where the output is non sinusoidal and the sinusoidal oscillators where the output is sinusoidal. The sinusoidal oscillators are further divided into three categories the RC oscillators, the crystal oscillators, and the LC oscillators. RC oscillators are of two types which are the phase shift oscillators and van bridge oscillators. Similarly, LC oscillators are of two types which are the Hartley's oscillators and Colpitt's oscillator. So the in RC phase shift oscillator, RC circuit is used as a feedback. They are used to generate stable sinusoidal signals at the output which are of low frequency, typically hundreds of kilohertz. Now this is the circuit of, of RC phase shift oscillator. Now in this RC phase shift oscillator, RC circuit is used as a feedback circuit. And if you can have a look, this RC circuits, the three stages of RC circuits is used as a feedback circuit. Now in this oscillator, the amplifier provides 180 degree phase shift. We can use the BJTs, the FATs are inverting op -amp as an amplifier in these RC phase shift oscillators. Now to get overall phase shift of 0 or 360 degree, the feedback circuit should also provide a phase shift of 180 degree. So that the overall phase shift is 0 degree or 360 degree. Also the gain of an amplifier and feedback circuit is tuned in such a way that the magnitude of beta A that is loop gain equals 1. That is the beta A times equals 1. Now to understand that how this feedback circuit provides the phase shift let us consider the simple RC circuit over here. So we have RC circuit over here and we know that the phase shift of this RC circuit is given as tangent inverse XC by R. Now if you can have a look the phase shift depends on XC and R. In XC we have the capacitance C. So the phase shift depends on C and R. So changing the values of capacitance and R we can change the phase shift of this circuit. Also, if you want a 90 degree phase shift for that, R should be equal to 0. So if R is equal to 0, then the phase shift is going to be 90 degree. Now, theoretically, 180 degree phase shift can be achieved by using two RC circuits. But for that, we need to make R is equal to 0. And when R becomes 0, the gain of this circuit will also become 0. So that is why R is equal to 0 is not possible and we cannot achieve 180 degree phase shift practically. So at least three stages of RC circuits is required to achieve a 180 degree phase shift. We can also use more than three stages of RC circuits but minimum three stages of RC circuits is required to achieve a 180 degree phase shift. Also remember that each RC circuit doesn't provide 60 degree phase shift because of the loading effect of the other RC stages. But the overall phase shift provided by these three RC stages is 180 degree. And to prevent the loading effect, we can connect emitter, emitter follower circuits to each RC stage. Now this feedback circuit provides two functions. That is attenuation and desired phase shift. Now, in this phase shift oscillator, the attenuation that is produced by this feedback circuit is 1 by 29. So the attenuation that is produced by this feedback circuit is 1 by 29. Now to get the unity loop gain, that is to get the beta A is equal to 1, this uh, amplifier gain A should be equal to 29 or greater than 29. 
to achieve this beta is equal to 1 or beta a greater than 1 this a should be 29 this gain should be 29 or greater greater than 29 because this feedback circuit provides an uh, attenuation of 1 by 29 so the gain that is produced by this amplifier should be 29 or greater than 29 now this circuit will provide unity gain at one particular frequency where the overall phase shift is also zero and this particular frequency is found out to be f is equal to 1 by 2 pi rc 1 by 2 pi rc into the under root 2n where n is the number of rc stages the n is the number of rc stages now in this case where we have rc stages is equal to 3 that we have n is equal to 3 that that particular frequency at which the unity gain is 1 at which the loop gain is 1 and the overall phase shift is 0 is going to be 1 by 2 pi rc into under root 6 so this is all about the rc phase shift oscillator the amplifier provides a phase shift of 180 degree and this feedback circuit also provides a phase shift of 180 degree so the overall phase shift is 360 degree and also this feedback circuit and the amplifier gain is so adjusted that the overall loop gain that the magnitude of overall loop gain is equal to 1 thank you